Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are left playing Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. In the last episode, we made, uh... We're getting to Trinities. We made it to the Industrial Quarter. And now we're heading up and up and up and up and up and up and up. up. Oh, Danger Room. Did I already do this? No, this is different. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Now I remember what we were doing. Now I remember. Alright. I think there's a way to break his armor. Does it say anything about breaking his armor? No, maybe not. Yes, I remember now what I was doing. Now, what was his weakness? Let's skip. Uh. Damage unit ignores enemies' defense power. That seems pretty nice. Too bad Ryu doesn't have, uh, much there. Now let's look at this fella. Oh, he's, uh, he's an ice guy. Alright. Let's get right in his face. And shoot him right in the face. Oh, look at that. I guess he's impervious to shooty shoot 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 powers. Alright, so let's just use frost. Hopefully he'll be dead this time. Hopefully he won't last the turn. So yeah, now I remember what we were doing. We were taking on the Dark Rangers. Or we were beginning to take on the Dark Rangers. And personally, I think the only Dark Ranger that's really a Ranger is probably, uh, that guy Tantra. Let's see if this Shatter thing will work. Not a thing. Uh-oh. Take that! Ow, oh, wowee. Wowee! That hurt! Yeah, so this guy is not to be messed with. Alright, let's uh, finish him off. guy will die and his spirit will head over to Tantra. If you remember correctly. Okay. Hurry up and die. There we go. And now his spirit has been sent to the life stream. I mean... Whatever. I, I think I made that joke before. Um, I, you know... You figure I'd think something new. God forbid, no. And you know, I don't even need it. And we're done here. I'm pretty sure we're done here. I don't know if there's any treasure that I can pick up. Mm, doesn't look like it. So yeah, I hope that uh, you have been enjoying these episodes. Again, I think I keep mentioning this, but 
getting fairly close to the end of this game, or the end, the end of the LP. Well, technically, I guess every episode is one episode closer to the end. You know what I mean? And then you pick up a new one, and you continue on. Some people were wondering what I was going to be doing next. I mentioned it, Art the Lad. It's a tactical role-playing game, kind of like uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, except much simpler, much more simplified. The story in the game and the characters in the game are what really, really makes the game. They were made by that company, Working Designs, which was, a, I think, well, Sony, it was Sony, and then Working Designs took the project. I don't know what the hell they did. But they made a complete collection, which was the first three games, which were never released in America. And I remember seeing it one time in Electronic Boutique, and, or, yeah, when it was Electronic Boutique. Not, well, GameStop, but it used to be Electronic Boutique. And I was like, man, I want that game, because I saw, you know, Lunar, <clears throat> and Lunar 2, they did it. The working designs did an excellent job. So I figured, uh, why not? Where the hell is this guy? Oh, here we go. I was about to say, where's Mr. Mr. Ah, oh, shoot. And Degon gets turned. Ooh, you tried to make us go to sleep, huh? Oh, you tried to confuse us, huh? Let's skip her turn. Oh, he's fast, huh? Oh, too bad you can't you can't harm us. With your pathetic. Well, your attacks are fairly strong. Can I get a turn or what? Let's try slice. Side slice. Vertical. Uh, no, that's alright. Oh, this guy's gonna counter every time, huh? I see how it is. Well, then I'll just bring you one of these. Okay, so apparently this fella is going to counterattack every little thing I do. And, uh, I guess I'll just, uh, yeah, you could probably, uh, you could probably turn into a dragon here, but what the hell? Why? There we go, Lin. Let's see what this guy's weak to. Oh, ice. Very nice. Let's uh, get up real close and see how this works. Eh, yeah, not too good. And you know what? Lin is very, very useless right now. Alright, let's use Nina. Oh, yeah. A good chunk of his damage is gone. Um, yeah, I wish there was a way that I could have Nina just... Just, uh... Just do her thing. But I don't have any of those AP charge things. Yeah, as you can see, Nina is really racking, racking this stuff up. Now he's gonna go. He's gonna touch Ryu. You sicko. You are sicko. And now he's gonna mess with Ryu again. And now Ryu's all kinds of messed up. So hopefully I have something. Wake up with pure confusion. And vaccine will cure whatever the hell he's got. Virus. There we go. And I guess I'll just shoot you from back here. Oh, 
Oh, you still you still hit fairly hard. I should really just turn into a damn dragon and finish this jag off. Oh, and apparently Ryu doesn't get to go again, does he? What a croc. Not Betty Crocker. Not Country Croc. Just regular Croc. You're not dead. You're so close. Don't touch Ryu. I mean, you know what? Hit Nina, because you're not going to be able to do anything to her. You suck. And as you can see, this guy likes to try to put people to sleep. There you go. You're dead now. Eat it. And now this guy will disappear as well. I'm giving Tantra powers beyond belief. So I'm going to try to steal from him and get that ability that I didn't get the first time around. See now, if you take on... See now, Tantra will be either stronger or weaker depending on I or I already got the item so I'm not gonna bother here. So let's use one of these. There we go. I'm actually gonna have to buy uh, some items next time around. But anyways, um yeah but I think I think uh, after Tantra there's a there's a, a mall or some shit. And then we go through another portion or something, and then we're all set. So let's go through here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here. Just, just that jet. Oh, look at all this. I'll take it. Juju. Aid kit. Power boost. Whoops. I personally think that all these little items that I've been using, these item thingies should totally add up. Like when you start a new game, they should just naturally add to the uh, <clears throat> naturally add to the um, to the character stats. Because otherwise, they're fairly useless in one playthrough. If you think about it. Yeah, we already know what's happening here. And the Rangers are dead. Rangers are dead. What happened to the Rangers? They were killed again. <laughs> Thank you, Ryu. For killing my two friends here. For killing my friends. I wonder if he'd say kill... I don't think he would say kill my friend. Some people have been asking, you know, what about if you do get Ryu to drag quarter? Do they really say anything different? Because we'll eventually have, like, a higher D ratio than even Bosch. And the answer to that question is, I'm pretty sure they don't say anything different. Because I remember one time I got 164, I mean, or 64, like Bosch, and they didn't say anything different. They just kept calling me a grunt, even though I had the same D ratio as Bosch. Which I think is a load of horse crap. Because, I don't know, I, I just think that they, they should change the dialogue a little bit. You know, it's like a little Easter egg. To show that, you know, you played the game so many times, now you got this uh, new D ratio. Alright, hopefully this guy will attack Ryu or Lin. And yeah, you can't steal from spells. Which sucks. Nina, you stay behind. And Ryu and Lin will go up and fight. And we'll see if we can uh, get him to... <coughs> oh, what did I just do? I did a bad thing. At least this guy's defense is fairly... Uh, well, but he will do that, which sucks. Uh -huh. 
In the end, I'm probably just gonna end up turning him a dragon and killing him. Some monsters, or some guys, you just gotta turn into a dragon. Oh, there we go. We stole it. Crimson Raid and Seventh Sense. That's what I should give uh, Ryu. Oh, look, he's going right after Nina. But at least he, uh, you know what? Skip your turn for right now. Give yourself that seventh sense. It brings up everything. Now let's, uh... <coughs> oh, I don't have enough to, uh... Damn it. I don't have enough to, uh... Oh, no, don't do anything yet. And if you could go... Do I have a magic? I don't have any magic boosties. Well, I guess I'll use a speed boost. And, uh... Profile him. See what he's weak to. Probably nothing. Yeah. Anyways, let's walk right up to him and shoot him in the face. Wow, that's not even that good. Man, that was almost not even worth it. And let's use a Mega A kick because we're use a little beat up. But actually, huh? I could just turn into a damn. Uh, Excuse me, I can just turn into a dragon right now. Burn you, bitch. That'd be pretty neat if they did uh, in this game, like, or any game, like combination stuff, like. Let's say you hit him with ice and then hit him with fire would do more damage or something. But yeah, I think I'm just going to turn into a dragon and murder him. Murder him good. Unless Ryu's, uh, Ryu's thing is really good. No, I'm just going to turn into a dragon. Screw it. I was going to say, what about if his attack is really good from that 7th sense thing? But no, you know what? I don't even care. I got the move that I wanted. Let's use a hurricane. Here I am. Rock you like a vortex. Actually, that's what I was using, vortex. You know what? It would just be easier if I did a D-charge and then... There we go, much better. And let's take out that Dark Ranger. There we go. And Lin goes up a level, and Tantra's dead. We get Crimson Raid, which is a very good ability. I was trying to tell you about it before, but I just couldn't steal it. Uh, so how this works... Let's equip it. I'll get rid of Hex. Hex is card. Crimson Raid basically restores 10 HP to your to your e to your you, you equal to you equal to 10%. Anyways, whatever whatever like you hit him by, let's say you hit him by 80, it'll restore your HP 8. So it's pretty nice. All right, so let's just go. We're done with this. And now we're actually in the mall. Oh, this is a new scene. Bosh. Who the hell is that? Bosh! I heard the strangest thing. They said Captain Zeno's dead. Why does he look so pissed? And you were the only one who got out alive. Wait, I'm not done. You ran away. Oh, you, you left them to die, coward. Bad, Mr. Elite. You're finished. Ran away. Me, Bosh. The future regent? 
Yeah, you, you lost. Right, you beat you. Oh shit, he's not happy, Ryu, exactly. Look at Boss, he's crazy. He just cut off that dude's hand, holy moly. With a rapier. It's usually a piercing weapon, but... Yes, Ryu must die. And maybe that, and there you go, that's where... I'm telling you, it can't be done. There have only been three cases reported of humans leaking with these constructs. Two of them went amok during the initial stages of the link. And even the first, a chosen who had the highest D-rate show lost control of the link, and chose to shut himself down. Interesting. So Bosch pretty much ticked off at uh, Ryu for beating him, and just because he thinks he's better than everybody. This is the free sector black market, blah, 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 blah. Let's continue. Hello, free sector tradey. I'm gonna purchase a bunch of aid kits. Mega aid kits. I do have a ton of money, so that's pretty nice. And I'll buy a bunch of med kits too. Multi-meds, can't have enough of those. Let's purchase as many as I can. Now let's sell off uh, some of this crap. Uh, B. Generators, any purse. And there we go. Oh, battery pack. Sure. Escapes, because I don't need them. Um, I don't need antidotes or wake ups if I've got multi meds. There we go. Sort. There we go, we're looking good. Yeah, so that one ranger guy pretty much ticked Bosch off to no end, and now he's pissed. Oh, it, oh, it's just a... Oh, we got a violet? Is it a... Wow, so... Is that even better than the... Oh, shoot, look at that. It's even better than that one. Hell yeah. I gotta sell some of this stuff. That's awesome. I didn't even think uh, you could get a better uh, uh, Xeno weapon. Anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here. In the next episode, well, let's go to Colony really quick. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Oh, we got more ants to hire. Higher, 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 you're hired. You're hired. You're hired. Someone die. We have more wares. Item research complete. Aw, oh, ants die. Item research. More customers. More songs. What's this one? Roses room. Okay, let's check it out. Let's move. We'll go to these different rooms and then we'll head off. You people are thinking of things. Sure. Sure, you keep thinking. Think, think, think. You developed gold EXP. Nice, I need one of those. Brainstorm! Let's come over here. These guys, you better be... You developed junk, thanks a lot. Another one, you guys suck. Uh, let's see what you guys got to sell. New skills, hopefully. No, I don't want, no, 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 no. Oh, look at all this. Learn the skills weapon boost, sure. I don't think I know any of these. Shield boost, I don't know, cut space. I don't think I know Divine, and I don't think I know Slow. Nice. Look at all these new skills we're learning. Oh, we already know the skill Divine. Alright, cool. Nice. Drop. Hey, that's alright. Let, now let's look at these skills. Let's see what Cut Space is all about. Attack, Power... Ah, interesting. So it takes away their space. 
or takes away their movement. That's not bad. What else do I learn? Crimson Raid. Um, I think that's it for you. For you, you learn all this, all this stuff. Slow speed, lowers the speed. But let's look and see what that weapon power was. Every time you hit your what your attack increases by one percent. Hmm. That's not bad, but it's not that good either. I mean, one percent is nothing. I mean, I guess if you get attacked a whole bunch. And maybe that would be worth something. Anyway, so those items after that, then we'll just we'll do we'll do exclusive uh, items. We'll try to get exclusive skills. Oh look at all this! Look at all these guys here. Have you heard of Dragon Blade? It's a famous weapon, very powerful. If I have one, the ants you hired will be stronger. I hope so. We got so many might strike it rich. So yeah, this is where you can learn uh, useful information, I guess. At the cafe, at the muscle place. I'm actually gonna move those guys who are all muscly and stuff, and try to try to uh, get them to uh, start digging like no one's business. See, because now they're just standing around being loaf abouts, right? Muscles is moving now. Muscles. Like Muscles Glasses from Epic Meal Time. You know what? Muscle it up. We need you to muscle it up. In case those two schmoes lose, you're gonna muscle it up. Oh, did I ever go to the paper thing? Huh. Well, I'll check it out. Let's see what the paper thing's about. over here. What are you guys? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, so you need three ants for the newspaper. I don't even know if I want to deal with your newspaper crap. I can't take anyone off any of their jobs to do newspaper. Bull crap. Uh, you know what? I don't need a damn music. Anyways, okay, so let's go over this. I showed off these. Explorer. The newspaper. Higher top class. For increased circuit. Oh, that, that thing will get you money. I think that's what that does. Then you have a money. Then you have a bank. And stuff. Music. Job description. Oh, the nuggets. You can raise those little, uh, those little, uh, you know what? Let's do that one. You can actually raise those little guys. And what I'll do with you is put you here. And then you sons of bitches better get better so you can go over here. But yeah, okay. So I'm done with this episode. Next episode, we'll continue upwards. This has been Kenshi1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.